hello here this is empress la cloche and this is about foxy brown she recently posted my story was shaped the squeeze so i would have been dead my story was shocking to the core i don't play victim but i had to step away for a minute for a minute for my sanity i would have been dead in the shadows we have lies all to work vacation in reverse and my dreams in reverse aging somebody getting older something hidden tell the truth storms the loop destruction karma crush towards energy or towards season mixed or um gemini season gemini energy let me tell you something she got a lot of interesting messages i don't know if she's spiritual because i got a couple of spiritual messages for her as well she the first angel ancestor message she got was oracle and it says talks about waiting for important information this information will be connected to why she took a new start why she took a new leap of faith somewhere else and she took a new leap of faith she did a new start because of some sort of pride and stubbornness and bad memories of things that happened when she was young like bad memories um there's something about children or her childhood as well um negative effects of the past and there is she does have a story to tell but spirit is saying you're kind of gonna have to wait for that information to come out on why she really did step away we have trader exchange injury to create abundance this is linked with the world the world is a trap a chapter um traveling something being on the internet possibly um attached with this is the emperor reverse um that's a boss figure a father figure this person this energy is not in the same position that they used to be in this talks about uh this person had a misuse of power connected to her and this postponed her journey a decision was made and this created a new chapter spirit is also highlighting an older woman don't know who that is we have w e and six i'm also getting like exchanging something with her was a part of misusing that power was a part of postponing her journey as well there was a decision made and somehow it's connected to abundance, which is money, wealth, trading something. Um, that's what I'm getting, trading. Then we have drum, dream, and journey. This is connected with the Eight of Swords, which talks about self-imposed limits. Also speaks about um, someone being locked up, trapped. Got number eight with that. Stargazer set your sights higher. She wants to be back in the spotlight. She wants to be happy again. Um, and this is coming. She set her sights higher. She's like, you know what? After this betrayal and rejection and relying too much on social groups and celebrating something prematurely, I'm setting my sights higher. Um, like, I want to be happy again. Because the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Um, S came out for that. There's something about something, some type of freaky ass sexual stuff. Heroism and indulgence in um, group activities. Okay. Now, the interesting enough, the last two we have for her is Dark Ancestor, which is Follow the Voice of Your Soul. And she was Unleashed the Wild Within. She had Queen of Swords. Both Queen of Swords came out in the same position, reverse, which talks about the elitism, narrow minded, prideful, spiteful, overbearing, snobby, critical. Um, negative influence of other women. Y'all know what I got with this? It's like two women sitting around gossiping about the same topics. And this is like helping her speak out, want to speak about what she has hidden, which is will help her uh, at least a while within. So I feel like someone is, uh, what she wants to say will not be good. Her story is not good. And she kind of is going to say it in a way people might not like what she says but i feel like there's a female energy that's boosting her up to do it queen of swords are typically air signs um libra aquarius or gemini doesn't have to be but they're typically good at communications they could be ex-wives or ex-spouses um but people listen when they speak So I just get this feeling she's communicating about what she's went to with other, uh, like at least one other woman. And this person is boosting her up. They're talking about the same thing. So in the energy I had in the shadows, 
We had Seer for her, which says, see past the current situation. A Seer is a tarot reader, oracle, a lot of spiritual messages here. She did take time to retreat and recharge. There's it's something about her wanting to unlock the magic within so she can harness her mystic power. Um, I also enjoy the growth and reap reward. Um, Spirit is highlighting like an older woman connected to her. This could be her mother. I, I don't know who that is. And also, um, there's a change with her perception. And I feel like she wants to change how she communicates because we don't really often hear much about her. But I do feel like, I don't know if she's in a female group or she's feeling like now's the time to say it because she's seen other women speak out and tell their story. I feel like she wants what's owed to her. Like there could, it's like, it feels like feminine energies around her telling her, you need to speak out, get what's owed to you. Don't like everyone else is speaking out. Everyone else is telling their story. And that's what I'm getting for. She wants to do it too. Peacekeepers in reverse. So I don't know if there was a resolution that came out in the past. Like they, she agreed, okay, I'm going to step away. But there's this energy of, I don't want to keep the peace anymore. Like F that resolution that we made, I'm reneging on it. I want to renege on that resolution. Spirit's also highlighting a new perspective, something being unconditional, a self-sacrificing energy, spiritual growth, and a prophecy for her connected with the chariot reverse. Now, um, that could be a car accident, a transportation issue, or literally going something going in the wrong direction. Uh, wanting to give up uncertainty of success, her being blocked, someone trying to block her, something going out of control, and a lack of willpower. Something's going to be revealed about that. Um, there's going to be less confusion, but there's this energy of uncertainty, but something to do with this new perspective that may be unconventional um, it, is going to be revealed, like something's going to come out. So I don't know if she was like in a car accident or something, or this is literally just saying something went in the wrong direction with her. Like her success was blocked and the truth about why will come out. Um, so I'm, I asked what's next for her and I feel like miscommunication, not really speaking out, doubting and hesitating on should I say what I want to say. Now, um, what she wants to really talk about is linked towards the King of Pentacles, which is an earth sign towards Capricorn or Virgo or a businessman, uh, a material provider, a boss, like a, a head, the head ninja in charge. She wants to speak out about the industry of someone in the industry, like one person in particular. Not a source of verse. It's like slow moving communication that's just not coming in. Like I feel like she's still kind of scared. She's not there yet. But spirit is highlighting justice for her at the end of the day, which is some sort of fairness. Got A7 and KJ. There may be something significant about August 12th to September 11th. Um, justice is also possibly legalities as well um good karma as well something happened to her when she was young um now i clarify the justice energy and it talks about financial balance someone's freedom and being forgiven wanting to break free from bondage release from constraints and seven source of verse which talks about manipulation that backfired or that will backfire like some kind of some kind of injustice. Like maybe she was paid to somebody paid her off so she wouldn't say anything, paid for their freedom. Like she's going through a beginning of an awakening, spirits highlighting number two. Like weighing her options. Like she was manipulated and that's backfiring. I feel like something definitely happened to when she was young. Uh, and maybe she was told to shut shut up, like hush. But she wants to break free from that. Um, I keep seeing, because we already had justice, somebody could be locked up for what they did to her. Like something was done to her that was injustice. And this person still remained free. I kind of feel like she was paid to hush. Spirit keeps highlighting the queen of swords for her, which talks about negative influence of another woman. Um, communication that's not so good. This person to be a B-I-T-C-H. It's like someone's boosting her up to say something, to speak out. So 
So, got Judge Judy in reverse. We know Judge Judy don't hold nothing back when she talks. So, for that to come out, I keep seeing legal stuff. Like, someone's trying to push her to pursue something.